And we're live. Hey, Connie, thanks for joining us. I think this is your first time here, if I remember correctly. And you love bruschetta, so that's so that's good. Welcome, everybody. We'll let uh, we'll let it kind of um, let everybody get notified that we're live before we get started. Let me wash my hands. Hopefully, everybody's have been having an okay week. It's uh, kind of been like the weather here's been kind of lousy. I was hoping to be able to eat on the patio, but have the bruschetta on the patio, but it's not cooperating. I think I even saw a few little raindrops coming out there. So, nevertheless, we'll we'll um, we'll uh, we'll eat inside tonight. And I, again, thanks to everybody for joining us. We've got a few new people here. Uh, non traditional life. Nadia's here. Jason's here. Connie. Nice kitchen, thank you. Nice, yeah, tidied it up. So today we are going to do bruschetta. Um, we did the online, we did the online grocery order thing, and we kind of misordered uh, tomatoes. We got so many tomatoes that we are using recipes to use up all these tomatoes as we can before they before they go bad. So Stephanie's here. Hey Stephanie, uh, this one's an easy one. Uh, if you haven't had bruschetta before, it's basically like a tomato, chopped tomato sal salad. I mean, we did a we did a uh, pico de gallo the other day on my channel for Cinco de Mayo. So it's think of it kind of like a Italian version of a Mexican salsa version, basically. Um, this is the basic one. You can the main ingredient tomatoes. We're going to use these little cherry, like grape cherry tomatoes, but you could use you know Roma tomatoes. If you have the garden tomatoes, up up to you. These are what we have. So these are the ones we're going to use. Red onion inside, really chopped up nice and fine for this one. And of course, uh, some garlic uh, chopped up really fine. And we do have some fresh basil to use. So we're going to chop up some fresh basil in there with a little bit of olive oil, cracked pepper. And that is, hey, Kelsey, that is, that's it. That's, that's, the, ba that's the basic one. But from there, if you were to make this and want to have this at home for an appetizer or even a you know, si you know, side of a meal, is you can add different things to this as well. So don't be afraid if you have, um, you know, uh, Kalamata olives are nice in there. If you had some, I know some people even chop up little bits, like if you want to put a little bit of bacon in there, up, up to you. We're doing, the, we're doing the standard one, but you're kind of, the sky's the limit with, with types of kind of ingredients you can, you can put in there. Um, so we'll get started. Hi, Stella. For people that are watching, Stella has a channel as well, and she, she's, she's been doing, she did tacos the other day, so you can always check out her channel. She did cooking tacos live, and we always like, and Lucia here, her sister is here as well, and uh, they were doing tacos and cooking it live as well. So that's kind of neat to see. It's neat to see all these people that have watched this channel and are trying to, and experimenting, doing their own thing. It's neat. So we'll get started. Uh, first thing first, we'll start cutting up these tomatoes because these are going to take a little bit. Um, if you had bigger tomatoes, they would obviously we'd be, we'd be having to uh, it'd be a, a bit easier to to chop to chop. But what because what you want to do is actually you want to take the insides out uh, of the of the tomatoes. So this is going to take with these little tomatoes. It takes a little bit of time, but we'll do some up and then I can show you the recipe. And uh, so we'll chop these um, going through. If you guys do have any questions, if anybody has any questions on, on bruschetta, don't hesitate to give me a, uh, a, a, a leave a question in the, um, in the chat there. So we're just gonna quarter these all. And then we'll take the seeds out at the end. It helps if you have a sharp little paring knife. Oh, we've got a few new faces there. Hello, people popping in. Welcome. Appetizer. Hopefully, I don't know. I haven't seen. Oh, hey, Stormin. Welcome. I I don't. I haven't seen Lois yet. Tammy's here though. I um. Lois was one of the ones who asked for appetizer recipes in the last stream. And so hopefully she can, if she's not here live, hopefully she'll see this recorded. Uh, sugar. Oh, um, no. Uh, I've never actually put sugar in bruschetta, Christine. Um, 
I mean, the, the tomatoes are usually, like if you're taking out the insides, the tomatoes are going to be fairly sweet, typically. Um, so you shouldn't have to put in, um, put in, um, put in any sugar. I am, a lot, sometimes in this one, there'll be a little bit of, a little touch of vinegar though. Uh, for for like a, for for an for like an acid in it, uh, I'm going to use a little. I've got some lemon, so instead of the vinegar, I'm going to use a squeeze of lemon. I'm also going to put some of the zest of the lemon into the into the mix to kind of freshen it up a little bit too. So that'll kind of help with this some of the, some of the, the taste. Um, this is actually really good with if you have balsamic vinegar, or even after we do after you do the mop, if you have like that balsamic vinegar reduction, you can. Uh, you can drizzle that over top. It's really nice for this as well. So, but again, basic, easy recipe. This is something if you're having a dinner party, you can make this ahead of time. You wouldn't want to do it too far ahead, but you could do it, say, the day before. Um, that's part, you know, because we are taking the seeds out. You aren't going to have. It's not going to let out a lot of the water. So you could make it the night before for for something, and then just give it a quick mix uh, before you serve it. So I think that's pretty good there. Once we get all the seeds out, we'll have a fair amount here to have for a snack. Oh, Lois is here. Hey, Lois, we're doing bruschetta. I know you'd asked for a, a recipe for some appetizers. So we're just going to take these, these seeds out, and then we're going to we're gonna like dice, dice them up. So once the seeds are out, I'm just kind of chop. They're already, they're, these are already quartered, so we don't have to chop them too much. It'll go, it'll go fairly quickly. Some of the bigger ones I'll cut again, but it's just a matter of going through now and getting out as much of the seeds as we can. And then we'll put them into the bowl. I do need a bigger cutting board though. My, ve my veggie cutting board isn't the biggest. And like I said, if we're doing the bigger tomatoes, this is a lot easier to do. But but just takes a bit of patience to go through. And some of the seeds actually have kind of just fall out on their own. If you get really if you get a really ripe tomato, it'll kind of all just come out. Oh, vacation couples here too. Welcome. Lots of people here today. I think we're, maybe we're going for a record on the on the stream. It's the middle of the week. Everybody's still at home. Hopefully, everybody's keeping well. And uh, watching me ch uh, slowly chop up some tomatoes here. Now, I did. I was a little bit ambitious today. And I didn't do it for the live stream because it took it would take a while to proof. But I actually baked. Uh, I got a recipe and I baked a bit of focaccia bread. So there's some fresh focaccia bread with this. So this is kind of that's kind of the tra traditional bread that this gonna this is gonna go on top for serving. So I'm gonna cut up some of the focaccia bread to add with the bruschetta that we're having here. So if you don't have if you don't have bruschetta. You can have, uh, like, if you had a, a baguette, would be great. You can do slices of baguette. Toast, toast it up. Make sure it's nice and toasted. It's kind of nice. Think of it as, like, the replacement for tortilla chips. Here we go. So what's everybody, uh, well, vacation couples, vacations, vacation couples saying that they're hungry. What is everybody having for, for dinner tonight? Like what's on your menus? Anything, anything exciting? Is anybody, tr is anybody trying this? I know I post this ahead of time, but it doesn't always leave the most time for people to get ingredients if we're not able to get out to the stores as much. So still trying, yeah, tomatoes. I know tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. We will. And then I know like these these will last the tomatoes though Lois, like they do last for a fair bit in the fridge. So they when we got them, they're not like super, super 
you know, ripe already, so they'll they'll last. We'll get we'll get through them. Repurposing bad Chinese food for Christine. So chicken fried rice. Okay, that's all right then. Stella's having leftover tacos. Stella, I saw your channel yesterday. I watched you making tacos, and I was jealous. And I wish uh, that sounds pretty good. Peas and carrots, eh? Just peas and carrots. <laughs> peas and carrots are good. See some of these. See a lot of these seeds have already kind of just they just kind of fall right out, so I don't have to be too too perfect to chop everything up. Just take out the big ones. And because, oh, so oh, chicken and rice too. Okay, it wasn't just it wasn't just uh, just peas and carrots. That's good. And Rachel's here. Chicken quesadilla sounds good. We always like Mexican food. I've got more tortillas, so I'm sure there'll be quesadillas in our in our menu coming up again too. If anybody has any suggestions for Friday, I haven't figured out Friday yet, but uh, we'll we'll maybe find find something. Do we have you know what we haven't done we haven't done pasta in a while, so maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll keep going with this uh, bit of a theme here with Italian theme and do some, maybe do some pasta. We'll see. It would be nice if the weather was a bit warmer and we could get out in the patio for, um, for a barbecue, but it's just not cooperating. There we go. So we're almost there. We'll go through. Hopefully it's not too... Boring watching me cut tomatoes, but if I was if I was smart, I maybe would have done some ahead of time. Then I could have just showed you a little bit, but it's okay. We'll we'll get through this. And if you had the like Roma tomatoes, you would only need like four or five Roma tomatoes, and you'd be done. It would take no time at all. Oh yeah, Stormer. Yeah, you do. You do live streams too, and I know he does. Uh, he's been doing some Filipino recipes, some neat ones there. I've seen a couple of them. I haven't attempted any of them yet, but he does lots of uh, lots of authentic Filipino recipes. So if you're interested in that, check out his channel. He does them. I think once he said once a week, right? Mondays, kind of after mine. I remember seeing. I, I'll do mine, and uh, on Monday, and then sometimes later on at night, I'll. I'll pop in and see he'll have his going. So I'll just kind of stop in for a bit. If anybody, like obviously there's lots of people watching this live stream, which is awesome. Uh, but uh, there's all, there's that's what I've discovered after starting to kind of do these is there's so many people, because obviously being stuck at home as much as we all are, which is, you know, unfortunate, but in, in another way, it's there's so many people that have started doing like lots of there's lots of people that are actually doing lots of live streams, not just on not just on cooking. I've seen some really really interesting ones from different uh, businesses even that are doing stuff on photography, on um, all sorts, really all sorts of things. You can literally just search in YouTube for what you're looking for, what you would normally search for, and then you can actually look. This is how I found found a lot of the streams. Is you can actually do the search, and then you can in the in the filters, you can filter through and uh, just have live videos, and you'll see that live videos are just um, uh, that are that are that are listed. Um, so there's some neat ones on there. Really, any topic, all over the world. So there's some neat neat ones for sure. And then we'll keep doing this, like I said, after we get it's kind of getting them to be a routine. So it's kind of nice. I do have a recipe coming. I'm going to do it tomorrow during the day, and I'll film it. So if you haven't, if anybody's watching that has, I think most people have subscribed. I know Con, I think Connie, I think you are too, but you you were the first time here. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to do a, a breakfast recipe, but I'm going to film it and uh, have it so we can. You, I'll post it on the page, and then you can. It's an idea for for the for brunch. So I know everybody's asking for brunch, and we can't always get a we don't always get a brunch thing done, but. There we go. So chopped up uh, tomatoes, and we're gonna. So now we're gonna add. Um, now we're gonna add uh, some onion. We're not gonna use the whole onion, just about half of the onion in that. If I've missed any, if I've missed any questions, by all means, 
call me out and uh, ask another question. If you actually are typing into the chat, if you're on the computer, it doesn't work on your phone, but if you're typing into the chat on your computer, you can actually use the at, the at sign and then start typing virtual dinner party and it will tag, uh, it'll tag me and it actually pops up as a color and I can see it a bit better. So if I'm, if you do that with a question towards me, it would help me, it'll help me definitely see it. That might be one way to, um, to solve that. So, uh, so red onion, we're going to dice up nice and small. If you also could use, they're going to be a, obviously stronger, but if you just had a yellow onion or a white onion, you could use that. Um, but you probably don't want to put as much because they're they're quite a bit stronger. These are these are nice. You could also, if you do have them, sometimes they're hard to find in stores. But if you did have um, uh, sh uh, sh shallots, you can put shallots in there too as well. Now I should ask Nadia if your mum is watching this, um, and and hopefully I'm doing it doing it right. So onions into the mix. This is super easy. It's smelling really good too. Once you get the like the tomatoes cut up, it's got a nice, nice, nice summer smell to it. So your mom is watching. Okay, well let her know. I don't think she's figured. She she knows how to watch, but she's like my mom. I don't think she knows how to comment live, Nadia. So ask her. Hopefully, I'm doing everything right so far. So far, we'll get the garlic in there. Peel the garlic. And we want to take off the little stem end, stem. We're taking off that little nubby end part there that doesn't really chop. And same thing, we want to chop this really fine as well because there's not, it's not, it's not going to be cooking. So we want to make sure that we have real chopped up fine, fine uh, garlic. If you don't want to have garlic breath, so if, say for example, if you're making this. Uh, I mean, for dinner, you're probably okay, but if you don't want garlic rest, breath for the rest of the day, um, you could probably, you know, it's still okay if you, I mean, if you want to omit this so you don't have garlic rest. So say you're taking it for a lunch to work or something like that, um, feel free to, to kind of omit that. We like the, we like the, fresh, the fresh garlic though. So we'll put that in there. All right. And then some basil. So this is a plant. We picked up basil. We went to one of the nursery, one of the farms, Saskatoon Farm out here in Calgary, just outside the city. Um, this, the farm was probably about half an hour, 40, 40 minutes out of town. Never been there. We're new to the city. So we're way out of town. And uh, they had like, they've, they've, they, they usually have, you can order grocery, like some produce and stuff there online and then go pick it up and they'll take it to your car but they've been allowed to open up the nursery. So they have limited amount of stuff that's, that's open and they let a certain amount of people in and you can go. So one of the plants that we picked up was some basil. So I'm going to use a little bit of this, but we, we don't want to use it all because we want it to grow through the summer, but we'll use a little bit for this recipe. And uh, I've just got some, I had some scissors somewhere. There they are. So we'll take a couple clippings of the basil to put in there. So, Oh, desserts. Um, well, I know you've been. I know you've been a couple of times to the channel, vacation couple, and um, I'm not a. And you'll see from the focaccia, you'll see that I'm not a big. Um, oh, sorry, I, I had that on the camera. I just clipped a few of the. I just clipped a few of the basil leaves off. Um, I'm not a huge. Uh, I, you'll see from the focaccia in a little bit. I'm not a big, I'm not a big baker. I'm not the best at it. I have a hard time measuring, and I know with baking and desserts and everything else that you can't measure. Um, I use those in the morning for my breakfast. I have them with oatmeal in the morning, so that's about a dessert. I could dessert. Although I have been kind of debating whether to, I got to find the recipe from where when I used to work at the hotel, but uh, rice pudding because I do like rice pudding. So maybe we'll, we'll figure something out. But the plan is to also have once everything is back to normal, back you know to normal, whatever that's going to be, is have some friends over for dinner, actual dinner parties, and and perhaps I can uh, I'm sure I know somebody that will come over, and will be able to make a dessert and do it do it on camera, maybe either record it or want it to go to go live. Um, the bananas I usually do get do get through before they go bad, but we do have a couple in the freezer, so I think maybe do. Um, 
some I could always do some banana bread or give them to someone to make even better would be give them to someone to make banana bread and drop it off. <laughs> so yeah, so virtual set. Yeah, so vacation couple. Yeah, so we're um, the plan basically with the channels to do obviously it's virtual right now, but the plan is to have you know, if we have friends over, we'll do learn some new things with cooking and then we'll go enjoy dinner, but we'll do do a recording of it or live stream if people are comfortable enough to be able to be in front of the camera. Maybe you'd be interested in doing something remotely. Obviously you're in you're in Ontario, but maybe you want to come onto the channel. We'll do a, we'll do we can maybe do a joint one one day. We'll figure let's we'll figure something out. I'll send you a I'll send you a message. That could that could be fun. All right. So we'll just chop up the we've got the basil here. Pick pick the basil, take the leaves off. Uh, here's a fun fact. One of the first jobs I ever had working in a kitchen, my brother worked at a, this is, oh, I've got, gosh, I can't even remember how old. I was probably like 12 or 13. My brother worked at a pizza store downtown. And whenever the fresh basil season came out, he the, 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 they would order basil for like kind of, because it was coming in fresh, they would order fresh basil for like basically the year because they would make fresh pesto. And, but the, the basil that would come in would be like in, in boxes of basically basil leaves. So I spent my summer, summer of like school in the, in sitting in the, on a bench, like a, on a bucket on, in the back of this pizza, pizza restaurant on, on, on Granville street in Vancouver. And I picked basil leaves off stems all day for like two weeks. And I picked so much basil that like my hand, my fingers were literally green from basil. And they would make, then they would, they would do is they would, after it was picked, they had a couple of restaurants and they would send it off to their, to the main, to the main kind of kitchen where they would do the sauces, make it all up. And I guess they would, then they would send it up to their stores. But it was, um, yeah, it was no fun. I like st stunk like basil. So there we go. Chopped up in there. Smells good once you have the basil in there, nice and fresh. So I actually said what I said was a bit of lemon, which is going to give a nice taste. So in the lemon, I'm going to put a little bit of the the little bit of the. Um, I've got the microplane to do the to the zest. It's kind of nice and fresh tasting here. And then I then for the acid, like you would normally maybe put a bit of vinegar, but we're going to use a bit. Of, I'm going to use the um, like a squeeze of the a squeeze of the lemon. Not the whole thing. You don't need a lot because we're going to add a little bit of olive oil in there. And um, it, uh, it, uh, you don't need a lot with this. Like it's, it's got enough flavor with everything else. So we got that there. Squeeze a lemon. Just a touch of olive oil. Uh, you don't need a lot. Basically, you want to use extra virgin olive oil for the taste. And then, uh, then this is basically, this is the mix here. We're going to mix this all up. And that is our that is our bruschetta, so nice and nice and fresh, nice and fresh looking. Smells good here. You can't unfortunately uh, smell it. So we'll get it ready, and then what I'm gonna do is I'll show you the bread. We'll get the uh, we'll get the focaccia bread cut up into some pieces and get them on a plate. So what you can kind of do, basically what the tradition, what kind of tradition, traditionally, traditionally with, with bruschetta is it's served on little square, you know, little squares of, of baguette or bread and it's crusty. Um, my, my focaccia, just the way it turned out is a little bit kind of, it's not super fluffy. I, I don't know. It must've been something with the yeast or I, I didn't do something. I didn't do something right. It looks, it looks okay, but I'm not going to have to toast it. It actually looks pretty. It's, it's actually pretty good. We had some. We had some today for lunch, as you can see, because there's some missing of the pan. Um, but I'm going to cut up some some triangles or squares, and we'll lay it on a plate. We'll put the get the bruschetta ready, and then we'll put the garnish on it, and and then we'll we'll do the do the taste test. So there we go. Oh, yeah, I'm on the big TV. That's good. That's what a lot of people do. They'll put they'll put the YouTube on their TV. If anybody's watching this on their phones or something, so what they'll do is they'll put this on the they'll put this on the big screen TV, and then um, you, what you can do is you can have it on your screen, and then if you have your 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 cell phone logged into the video as well, you can you can do your comment on the on the um, on the app. Kind of makes it easy, and then you don't necessarily have to 
sit, sit and pay attention to the full thing. You can see the chat bigger on the screen and maybe just listen in the background. If, you've, if you're doing something else, just put it on and let it run and have a listen. So on the, on the smart TV. So that's one, one way to do it. There we go. So let's cut some of this up. Now I think the recipe, like it's weird with this recipe. I had, I had to half it. I think, you know, sometimes with baking and if there's any big bakers in the house, like watching right now, probably could maybe answer this better than I can. I, 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 I didn't do, I did chef training, but not a lot of bake, bakery stuff. Um, I halved, I didn't have enough flour. So I halved the recipe. So I think that's part of it. Uh, cause I think sometimes when you convert the recipes, it doesn't necessarily w work the same, you know? So I think, uh, I think that's, that's part of the reason, um, why the focaccia is a little bit thinner. Maybe I need a bigger, smaller pan or so something, something wasn't, something didn't quite work out, but, um, it's still good. It still tastes good. We put, some, I put some fresh herbs and like a sun-dried tomato herb mix on top. So that's, that's nice. I'm going to, this is actually going to be good for the, um, I'm going to cut it in in half. Like so. And then just cut some uh, some squares for the pieces. Like so. So we've got them there. Now you could serve these like if you didn't want to do these all up, you can always just put the put the um, uh, put the bruschetta into si like a serving bowl with a spoon, and then have uh, a tray of like sliced up sliced up bread for for it after but we'll do it all set up here, get it on a plate and we'll give it a taste. So it's all mixed. And we just wanna, what we wanna do is just spoon, carefully kind of spoon it on top. Yeah, it smells good. This is, it's always good when it's nice and fresh. I did, Stella. I added a little bit of uh, olive oil. Yeah. And if you were here, you could really smell the garlic and the basil right now. So there we go. Got a bit extra to have after. And then I do like to put a little bit of cracked pepper on top on each one which is good. Now, if you did have, um, uh, oh, just hold on, Christine, I'm not finished yet. A uh, <laughs> uh, little bit of cracked pepper. You couldn't put that in, you could put that into the mix if you're not, um, uh, if you're not uh, plating them up like this to eat right away. Um, but yes, Christine, there is a little bit of, I've got some uh, Parmesan cheese that I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit on there on top. Um, we're not gonna put a lot because don't need a lot actually, but this is good on top there. Now, if you did have, like I said, if you did have um, balsamic reduction, you could drizzle that over top now, but that's basically it. There we go. That's Jason, yeah, where's mine? I know, I've got some, I have to make mine up separately though. So that's good. So there we go, everybody. It does smell good. Uh, fresh tomato bruschetta. Yeah, Jason's gonna come and say hi. We'll get him to do a taste test too um, for everybody. Uh, Nadia's mouth right. So hopefully, Nadia, ask your mom uh, that I did it. Uh, maybe ask her, make sure I did it right. Um, if anybody decides to make, yeah, we all need haircuts. Um, if if anybody decides to make this, send me a picture on Facebook or send me some, you know, send me a post of it so I can take a look. So let's do a taste test. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I haven't tried old balsamic vinegar, the but lemon, the lemon zest good. makes it good, better than lemon juice. So it's good. There we go. Fresh bruschetta. Time to hunker. That's it. <laughs> so. so Terry says nice oh, hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First thing I'm going to do is get a haircut. Yeah, time for a haircut. But anyways, is Dean's there? Hey, Dean. Oh, hey, Dean. Um, you can bake it. Yeah. The, um, one of the which is nice if you melt the cheese on there and then do the drizzle with the with the balsamic. I didn't bake these because the cashew because it was so kind of thin, it would get too it would get too hard. So I I didn't. But yes, you could bake them. It would be nice to uh, heat them up quickly. It would be really good. Um, and I wish I had some balsamic. I'll have to pick some up. I'll put the, I'm going to put balsamic on the list because I've been talking about balsamic reduction for a long time. That would be really good on here. Um, nice balsamic vinegar. Um, so I'll get some of those next time. We we'll do it. So there we go. And Stormer got nice. Yeah, balsa if you get a nice balsamic vinegar, it's very. You almost don't have to. Add, it's just nice on its own. It's really good. So here we go. I'll give you that. Go eat. We buy. Um, that's our. That's. Uh, hey, Alicia. That's our. That's our appetizer slash slash dinner. We had a late lunch today, so we're just gonna have a little appy and some and a few other little snacks with leftovers and stuff. So um, that's what we're gonna have for dinner. So hopefully everybody enjoyed that. Thanks for joining me for making some bruschetta. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you maybe learned something. And uh, before everybody goes, we've got, we do have 21 people watching. So that I think is the most we've had on the live. So that's pretty awesome. New faces in here. So thanks everybody for being so welcoming to all the, all the new, all the new people. And we'll catch you again. I'm going to do a video film tomorrow. So make sure if you're not subscribed, do, do hit subscribe. So I'll have a video posted tomorrow for brunch. Uh, for to make on the weekend so you can check that out an idea for breakfast and then we'll be back live on friday uh for the dinner at the regular at the regular time thanks everybody and uh if you could just hit the little thumbs before you go and as always don't forget to wash your hands have a great night everybody okay take care